teacher may go now. Hi, Wendy. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. How are you, Miss? How are you doing? Uh, a little tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but it's Friday. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. No, uh, tomorrow work, work at in the morning. So you work in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, <laughs> but, but you rest in the afternoon, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, the, the afternoon and Sunday free. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. that is important that you can rest and you can sleep a little bit, that is important too. Hi, Olga, good evening, great to see you. How are you, Miss? Hi, teacher, nice to see you too. How are you? How is your Friday going? I fine, thank you so much, um, a little tired. A little tiring as well, okay. Yes, right, I mean, it's Friday and we are like, oh. <laughs> Yes. going down or on the way down but i'm super glad to see you guys so thank you so much for joining nelson thank you so much for joining too great to see you hi tatiana good evening thank you so much for joining as well uh well guys i appreciate um you joining today you sharing your time um as we checked uh yesterday you know uh you know that some topics can be a little bit Complicated, but guys, you have done this week an amazing job. You have tried to give a, like a lot of, you know, um, details, uh, information, and that is totally fine. Um, Nelson, estamos pendientes solamente con las, um, con las tareas, right, with the homework assignment. So we'll complete with the other conversations cuando ya tenga tiempito libre. Cuando ya está descansando, try to send them over to me. En Wendy seguimos con las actividades as well, right? Um, that is a one minute uh, talking, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and hopefully yeah. it's gonna yeah. help us a little bit. Dígame, tell me. Um, is Saturday or, or Sunday? Yes, send, send them send to me. The, the yes, yeah. of course. Send the homework when you have some time off, right? When you are available, that is totally fine, no problem. Um, so those are just part of the assignments, part of the homework we have. And uh, now guys, let's move a little bit and let's work with some activities. Today we are going to start uh, the second, I'm sorry, the third conditional. Um, hi, Christian, good evening. Mr. Rivas, good evening, how you doing? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Great to see you here. Thank you so much for always joining the class. Are you working tonight? Always, teacher, always. Are you working your night <laughs> job? <laughs> but but uh, Carlos, do you, rest, I hear you. do you rest on the weekend or you don't rest? Yes. So oh, when, yes. when are your days off? Like Saturday and Sunday both? Uh, sometimes. Okay, and so this weekend are you working or are you resting? I hope so. Not mm. work tomorrow. 
So, oh, so you don't know. What does it depend on? Excuse me, I don't hear you. Yes, what does it depend on? I mean, if you work ah, on Saturday okay. and Sunday, what does it depend uh, on? That the, the, the owner mm -hmm. uh, contact me mm. in weekend. Oh. So oh. if they don't contact you during the weekend, you're off? Yes, they off. Oh my God, so you have to be on duty. Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, but I, I'm super glad to hear your voice and I and I know you're here. So whenever you have the chance to participate with us, that would be amazing too. Uh, okay, Christian, no problem. Thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, and please, I hope you get uh, home safe and sound. Uh, Norma, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Great to see you guys. All right, we're gonna get it started, uh, as I mentioned before, with the conditional number three, and that I believe is the new one um, for like at this point, right? But I'm sure that you will do an amazing job with that. Um, so to get it started, guys, I have a little bit of a speaking. Last time you did a really good job with the storytelling, but today we're gonna change a little bit this story or the process to make this a story. Um, over here, we have a storytelling or tell me a story. And you see six different pictures. Uh, you see like a sort of watermelon piggy something. <laughs> um, you see a hammer, <clears throat> sorry, right here. You see a knife. Uh, you see some wood locks uh, or wood, uh, just wood. Uh, you also see um, a floss, right, for your teeth. Um, and you see like some repellent or some, uh, how will you call it? Um, insecticide, repellent, et cetera. So um, what we're gonna do guys is the following. So one person is going to begin this story. And then guys, uh, you can continue the story. You can invent, right? You can make up the rest of it. So you have to listen to your classmate to know what happened, and then you continue this story. Um, Norma, thank you so much for joining. Oh my God, I didn't see that you were on the on the bus. I believe you are, oh, if you feel more comfortable, you can turn off your camera and turn it back on when you get home. Thank you so much, wow. Thank you so much for being there. <laughs> okay, be careful, please. We don't want your phone getting stolen or something <laughs> but it's really nice to have you there okay guys so let's start with the first all right um so again we have to connect all these stories uh what are some words that we can use to connect them well you already know a couple of connectors so we can use words like um also right we can use but we can use however you can use moreover um we can use in addition uh we can use other words like first when after uh, etc etc so there are like a lot of different words we can use over here so um wendy i will start the story with you select one picture tell us some information about the story tell us some information about this picture and the okay. next person has to listen to you and has to continue the story where you left I make a pork and other fruit in in the okay. Mm, you're fine. You're fine. Relax. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Take your time. Uh -huh. I make I make a pork or fruit. Okay, but give us more details. Tell us why. Uh, tell us what is going on. Give us more information. So give us more. Okay. Uh, I make a pork mm -hmm. with fruit. Um, the fruit. Uh, I know. No, oh. I don't. 
Oh, don't, don't worry. Don't worry much about the picture. You can just make something up like one day uh, this was the story. So tell us like a story. Don't focus too much on this. Tell us a story about any picture, a hammer, a knife, any picture, not necessarily the first. So you can make it up. No puedo. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. So you have been doing amazing, an amazing job. Okay, just calm down, just relax, no worries. Guys, who wants to start this story? Who has something to begin with? Just make something up. Like one day I was at work, you know, there was a party and a chef um, bought or brought to the party this little watermelon and uh, um, it had some fruits on it, like some uh, raspberries, um, peaches, and, uh, and I remember that it was a beautiful pork, uh, but I was super angry, you know, because um, when I was a little girl, my pet was a pork. And it reminded me a lot about those beautiful moments I had with my pet. <laughs> so guys, if that is the beginning, how would you continue this story? Olga, can you, can you give it a try? Can you continue this one? You can use another picture, so, but try to like follow the story, try to continue the story. Do you have anything for us, Olga? Nelson, are you ready? Do you have anything for us? Something that you can tell us? Hi, Sylvia, good evening. Hi, Anna, thank you so much for joining. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miss. Okay, guys, let's do something. Um, that was not the, the objective because the objective was to make things um, a little more uh, random, right? But let's do the following. Um, select one picture only. So we're gonna modify the activity. Select a picture only. I'm gonna give you three minutes and I want you to make up a small, super short story using only one picture right uh make it up guys so it doesn't have to be true just make it up be creative right so make it up uh, okay guys let's go for that make it up select one picture and make a short story with only one picture so let's do it
Hi, Jorge. All right, no problem. Thank you so much. Y espero que llegue con bien a su casa. I hope you get home safe and sound. And thank you for the audio. I received it, but I haven't uh, had the chance to reply back, but thank you so much. I already got it. Okay, guys, one more minute. Make up your story and we share it in one minute. Thirty seconds, guys. Only thirty seconds. Okay, guys, really nice. So tell us a little bit about your story, right? So what object did you select? Um, so I already told you my short story about the little pig. <laughs> so what is your story? Just yes, Wendy, what's your picture? What did you select? I, I ordered my idea. <laughs> nice, I'm super glad. Okay, I'm happy. No worries, no worries. That happens, don't happen. But I don't want you, I don't want you to say I can do it. No way, you can do it. So yeah, okay. What is your picture? What's your picture here? A little pig. Okay, perfect. Let's go with a little pig. What can you tell us about it? I made a little pig with okay. um, a watermelon and put slip fruit in it okay okay yeah. well give us more give us more that is really nice that is really nice uh, the fruit give us more. the fruit mm -hmm. the fruit was delicious okay the the fruit was delicious um okay. But a little pig was was very pretty. Okay. And and I don't eat. Mm. Oh, you didn't eat it. Didn't need it. Didn't need oh, it. Oh, so you didn't eat it. Okay. Now, quick yeah. question: Were you celebrating a party? Where you have? Did you have a a, a birthday yeah. celebration? Were you at work? Yeah. Give us more. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little a little pig uh, okay. was for for the father's birthday okay very nice so for your father's birthday thank you okay yeah. that was a nice description thank you wendy that's good sylvia are you ready Suleyma? what is your picture uh, my picture is a uh, stick very nice. Give us some information about the wood stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they I visited the forest and only had a stick. For this, I used it. I used it for fish mm -hmm. in the lake. Mm -hmm. Also made 
a weapon to hunt. Oh, I liked it. Very nice. Silvia, that was a really good use of vocabulary. Okay. Silvia, I want you speaking more like this. That was really nice. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Nelson, are you ready? Nelson, where are you? Sorry. Hello. Hello. Oh, don't be sorry. No problem. Tell us, are you ready? Uh, it's a story. Yes, tell us a story. What is your picture? This picture is a... Uh, oh. You have to select one, one picture. What yeah. is your picture? Number four. Uh, this one, the floss. No. Ah, the wood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yes. tengo, ya se me olvidaron los números. <laughs> this is four. Okay, yeah. So, wood, wood. Okay, give yeah. us the story. Yeah. Tell us, and, tell us. Okay. Once, once I'm, I'm going to the, to the field with uh, my family. Mm -hmm. And we had to make uh, a fire book with. Mm -hmm. Cold, cold, not I'll go to. Okay. I keep this you. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 One more time. One more time. Tell us the story, please. Uh, just a little something. The first word, la primera palabra que menciona, I'm not sure, the, but I believe it's like a single chat. I think it's the one in the chat. So, lo pronunciamos, gu ans. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it one more time. Mr. Valle, good evening. Thank you. It's okay, Mr. Valle. Tell us. Um, so we'll be here. Hopefully you get home sound and safe. Okay. So one more time. One more time, Mr. Gavarrete. Hello. Can you repeat? Can you repeat the story, please? Okay. Council, I'll buy the field. Mm -hmm. With my family, okay, and, and we had to make a feel about uh, mm -hmm. we we come not feel fine, go to keep the fire. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, you had to make a fire with your family, okay, okay, very nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Gavarrete. Uh, Olga, I think I saw Olga right here. Susana, hi, Susana, good evening. Um, will you be um, with us or will you be a listener for some minutes? Olga, perfect, Olga, let's go for that. Nice, nice. Okay, the firewood that the grandfather collects was used to cook the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, why? <laughs> uh, were you on vacation? Give us more, give us more information. Yes, so my, on my vacation with my family and the mountain. Oh, where did you go? Where, which mountain did you go to? El Imposible. Okay, so you went to El Imposible. Um, mm -hmm. Did you, um, so how many people, like all your uh, family? Mm -hmm. We were age members of my family. Uh, mm -hmm. My two children, my husband, mm -hmm. my brother, mm -hmm. my sister, mm -hmm. and my mother. And okay. Very nice. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. That sounds really, really cool. All right, Olga, I want to listen to you more. That is really nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Um, I know that sometimes it's difficult to think in this very moment, but we are going to do it, you know, slowly, step by step. 
step by step, but we will get there. Guys, we are going to make today uh, some vocabulary building. Okay, so we are going to check some vocabulary here. And uh, um, we also have some conversations that we are going to be checking. So give me one moment. Let me present uh, this. We are going to work a little with your book, a little with the material. So guys, go with me, please, to your book. Let's go together to unit number two, page number 17. And this is a little bit of a conflict management strategies. And today we are going to talk about this conflicts and what to do. Probably not what to do, but we are going to try to express some ideas in English about the problems, the conflicts that you have had in your company, right? So look at this. Um, and guys, I want some uh, volunteers to help me read it. Um, let me see here, let me see. Sylvia, please, can you help me read uh, Sally? So can you help me read this part? And let me see who else is available. And uh, well, Mr. Gavarrete, please, can you be, can you help me read Hugo? So I will help you with some pronunciation in case you need it. So that is fine. You will be Hugo. You will be Hugo, uh, Silvia will be Sally. And Olga, can you help me read Richard, please? Richard is just a piece. So help me read Richard, please. So um, Mr. Nell, Mr. Um, Gavarrete, we begin here. Me uh, dijo Richard. Uh, yes, Olga, yes, please. So you'll be okay. Richard, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry, I miss. You are Hugo. Hugo, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So we begin here, right? You're Hugo. Okay. Richard, I understand you go like us to go together. Together, but it's impossible. Please help me have with another of the manager. Mm -hmm. I can I can I can understand on on the house it super binary whether whether they went. Okay, very nice. Uh, Silvia, please. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? Okay. Hugo, uh, so Nelson, we go here. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't know do that. You just did it. Oh, would you please tell me what you admire about Sadi? Mm -hmm. Well, she, I have to I mean, admit that her reports are mm -hmm. accurate. Accurate. accurate and that her assault department. Hundred word we have the line. Okay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? Nice. He did a great job increasing sales by a uh, fifteen percent this month with his business approach. Very nice. I know you two have different personalities. Is you both have not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have a such ground last year. Mm -hmm. From now on, remember what you two said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Amazing. Okay, guys, really nice, really good pronunciation. Olga, super nice. Silvia, very good job. Nelson, much better. Nice. I like that. So, guys, let's take a look at some vocabulary here. They are talking about conflicts. And look at this. Um, Silvia said something like, um, Why are you always attacking me in meetings? Sometimes we attack people, right? Um, so we have the first expression that is can't stand. 
So in this part you have, I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. So I can't stand it. Uh, the next expression okay. that is kind of new or we can use is accurate. Okay. It says, I okay. have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate. Oh, but what is that? The other word we have is handles. Um, her department handles work without okay. delay. So we have handles, mm -hmm. we have okay. delay, and I think that uh, the rest may be known to you, right? And we have the expression attack, that attack is not only for a word or for the police, but sometimes we attack people verbally too. So I'm going to include attack here. Guys, repeat with me, please. I can, I'm going to include here I, I can stand. I can stand. I can stand. Accurate. 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 Yes. Accurate. Very nice. Next one. Handles. Handles. Mm, I will eliminate the S. So handle. Handle. Mm -hmm. Delay. Handle. Delay. Delay. Very nice. Delay. Attack. 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 Super. Okay. What is I can stand? I hate it. Like when you say in Spanish, I ya no lo aguanto, right? I can't stand it. Guys, what is something that you can't stand? So for example, I can't stand, um, I don't know, receiving uh, attacks. I will boss. You can stand your boss. <laughs> Mr. Valle, you are on your way, but immediately, right? <laughs> No, come on. So it's just like uh, we cannot, we don't, we, kind of we hate it, right? So if you remember the synonyms for I get angry, I'm angry. Actually, we I have, him. Are you serious? So hi, boss. Listen to Mr. Bay and listen to what he's saying. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Valle, you can get like a personal warning or something. <laughs> so uh, here we have, guys, this expression, like, I can't stand it, right? Oh, I can't stand that this, the music of this guy, um, the reggaeton singer, guys. Um, he's super famous now. Um, what are the who are the reggaeton singers? Um, Bad Bunny. <laughs> that one, yes. Yeah. So I can't stand Bad Bunny's music, right? So it's like, oh my God, he doesn't say anything. <laughs> so we use, I can't stand, right? Uh, I hate it. Uh, I get angry when this happens, right? That is the meaning of that. Accurate. So accurate means precise, right? When you say, ah, your numbers are accurate. You're accurate. You're super accurate. Especially when you work with numbers, if you are an accountant, uh, if you work with dates, oh, I know that you work with very uh, sensitive information. So we can use the word accurate to say, oh, that, that is precise, that is correct, right? Um, we have handle. So handle is kind of manage, right? So what do you handle? Oh, I handle information, like I manage, I work with. So that is a word we can use handle. So work with right? Um, so I work with the finance, for example. Oh, I handle the finance uh, or the financial reports of my company. If you work with security, oh, I, I handle security procedures. So we can use I handle, uh, I manage, or I work with, and that's exactly the same. The next one we have is delay. You know that delay means um, later than expected, right? Later than expected. Um, so you can say, oh, my bus, oh my God, it's 7 a.m. And the bus passes in front of my house 10 to 7. The bus is delayed or the, the plane is delayed or the ship is delayed or anything. So delay is like later than expected. And a tag that we know that is um face to face or like a sort of encounter or a physical um what's a word can, that i can use 
for attack. Mm, let me think. Well, that's a sort of personnel, uh, personal conflict, I would say. Yeah, or when you start telling people, oh, I know you're really bad and you take everything personal too. So you can attack people. So guys, um, working with this vocabulary uh, before moving on, do me a big favor. And if these words are new for you, um, I'll give you some minutes so you can write a sentence, right? Using the vocabulary that is new for you. So we have five minutes and then you give me some examples, right? Five minutes, guys. Teacher. Yes, we, Miss. Uh, we we make tenders. Yes, you will make an example. For example, I can stand, let's use the word, right? So we get used to them. I can stand, oh, I can write, don't write my example. So I can stand, uh, but Bunny, but Bunny, but, man, but Bunny is new songs, new songs, all right. So, cause I can stand is like, oh, I don't like it, right? So. I hate it, that's disgusting for me. Mm -hmm. So I can't stand Bad Bunny's uh, new songs. So just sentences like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right.
some more minutes. Nelson, are you ready? Uh, Wendy, are you ready too? Unless... Mm. A word. Uh, I'm sorry, Wendy, do you need more time? Mm. One less. One more minute? Yes. Ah, okay, sure, sure, no problem. All right, guys, so give us some examples. What do you have for a can stand? What's something that you can stand, guys? In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I can stop, I can stand exit later on Saturday. 
Yeah, I can stand. Oh, we can use working late. I can stand working late. Yeah. I can stand working late on Saturday. I okay. Can stand working late. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is that is uh, definitely much better. All right. Next, uh, anybody else? What is something that you cannot stand? Nelson, what is something you can't stand? Okay, sorry. Mm, don't be sorry. Tell us, tell us. Okay, I cannot stand the, the low noise or the song on the bus. Mm -hmm. uh, I, can, I cannot stand the brother children. I cannot stand. Rude children, rude children. Rude children. Yes. Ah, okay. I can, I can, I cannot stand uh, my boss and work <laughs> and when he is uh, angry. <laughs> okay, you cannot stand your boss. Okay, yeah. that's all right. Anything I else? Stand about people. Okay. Okay, okay, nice, nice. That sounds really good. I like it. Those are really nice. Sylvia, what's something that you can understand? Um, I can stand the people that say profanity. Oh, are you serious? Yes. You don't like it? No, I had it. I, you hate it. You hate it. Uh -huh. Oh, people. So you don't say profanities. You don't say bad words. Uh, so Sylvia, in your case, you don't say bad words. No. Really? No, I don't. Never. Yes. <gasps> Never. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. What else? Do you have more examples? Hi, Maria Elena. How are you? Lupita, Lupita, how are you? Hi, I come back <laughs> again. Amazing. No, it's really nice to see you. How are you, Miss? How was traffic? Mm, today I am going for other street and it's more easy. It is okay. It was fine. It's, it's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds all yes, right. It is horrible, but okay, traffic okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, nice, nice. Yes. Um, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Um, I choice. I can stand use Navara diecinueve. You can stand use Navara diecinueve. Navara diecinueve. Yes. <laughs> what what is what is Navarra 19? In my work, um my administrator and my boss I mm -hmm. seeing vehicles and that one uh, has no strong aguado it's a pickup. Mm -hmm. no sirve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, mm, no sirve. Ven a work. So, Oh, so the, the name of the car is Navara 19. Navara, but the pronunciation ah. is 19 de la placa. Ah, <laughs> so you're super yeah, specific yeah. about a car. Okay, okay, got yes. it, got it. All right, nice. So, okay, sounds okay. Guys, anybody else? I think I saw Olga. I, I have a I have an example. Yes, Christian, tell us. Uh, I can stand when the people eat with the open mouth. <laughs> when they make noises. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or when they are like having some soup, right? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, I so stand. you you can't stand people eating with their open mouth. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't bother me. I think it bothers me more um, uh, this bad bunny guy. <laughs> okay, but nice, nice. Sure. Okay, yes. Hi, Good Mr. Evening. Palma. Good, Good evening. Morning. How are you? Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Sorry for connecting. 
Ah, no worries. The good thing is that you are home. So I believe, it, you know, it's Friday. It's payday for some people. Traffic is horrible. People are getting I, crazy. I, so. mm -hmm. I, I was in a meeting. Oh, so you were working. Yes. Oh, so bad. I'm, I'm, I'm here already. <laughs> but you're home. Uh, yes, or are yes, you at I'm, the office? Oh, I'm at home. Okay, you're at home. All right. So that is uh, nice. Thank you. I can't stand teacher when in the traffic, <laughs> cars drivers are uh, uh, extremely fast uh, because uh, they, uh, what do you say? They uh, they take uh, the, the, the horns. The car driver okay. when the when the when the traffic lights they are in in, in red or red. <laughs> yeah teacher I can't stand <laughs> I can't stand it I feel that you know I, I definitely understand that because that happened to me today. <laughs> So yes. I was waiting like everybody else and somebody was like making some noise behind and I was like, wait, yes. <laughs> I cannot move. Okay, yes. that is, I guess, uh, okay, a very common issue. All right, yes. so you can say when people are like pushing you to move, right? But that's not possible. Okay, yes. okay. Guys, what about handle? Do you have any example with handle? Normally remember that handle is like work with or manage. Do you handle, so it can be machines. Do you handle any machine? Do you handle any specific um, thing at work? So what do you handle, right? Maybe a situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you handle a situation, all right? And mm -hmm. we can handle it well or wrong. Hi, Ariela. Hi. <laughs> nice to hear your voice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Miss, I have a question with handle. Yes, mm. Miss, tell me. Who can I, see my screen? I, I don't know if we can use handle, this expression, uh, when I do something, when I want to, to tell... Uh, that I can with something. For example, I have my example. My mm -hmm. example is I can handle these reports by myself. Yes. Yeah, you can use it uh, because ah, okay. handle is like um, I am good enough to work with them. Mm -hmm. So yes. Okay. We can definitely okay. use that. But Thank so you. handle can be you can handle something well. Or you can handle something wrong. <laughs> so handle is like super neutral. Uh, and your example is all right. So I can handle uh, this on my own, right? I can handle this by myself. So yeah, that's a very good example. Uh, okay. Marielena, can you see my screen now? I'm not sure if Marielena can see my screen. Okay, so hopefully you can. All right. Yes. So, okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, so those are like part of the of the common expressions that we will be working with. Uh, then we have delay in the chat, but I think that you're kind of familiar with most of them. So if we go down a little bit and we check some expressions, um, we have been discussing this week some conflicts, some vocabulary to, to talk about problems at work or conflicts at work. And here you have a couple of them that can be um, like the most common causes and also the kind of conflicts. We have, for example, personality styles, poor communication, conflict of interest, values, corrupt or fraudulent uh, intents, miscommunication, this word is really important. Um, you said before, sometimes uh, there is information that not everybody shares this information. So we can call it that way. Um, we can call that miscommunication. Or also you say something, but your partner goes and shares different information or eliminates or alters. So we call it a miscommunication. That is a very common um, issue or conflict at, at the word, right? Um, we have probable causes here, uh, jealousy, poor performance, opposing uh, positions, power struggles. 
like, oh, I want to go for manager position. I want to be better than you. So power struggles, everybody wants to have a better position and an employee having a bad day. Guys, coming into the probable causes, when we are talking about conflicts at work, what are the most common uh, issues or, I mean, what are the most common uh, causes uh, for conflicts? Do you think it's jealousy in your company, guys? What is the most common uh, situation or cause? Is it jealousy, like you're jealous? Poor performance, mm, we just don't know what to do. Opposing positions, like we have different points of view or power struggles. I, I want to be the manager. I want to be the next, uh, I'm running for the next uh, position or a bacon or something or simply because that person is having a really bad day. So what are the most common causes in your company? Maybe it's a combination of opposite, opposing positions, mm -hmm. um, an employee having a bad day um, oh. or struggled. Oh, so are there power struggles in your company? Um, I have never been in a company because I only work from home. So I am assuming that this is the most regular things that happen in a company. Hold on a second. So you're doing home office? Yes. From when? <laughs> when, did you, when did you start? I have like one year and a half working wow. like a real adult. <laughs> wow, you're super blessed. So in pajamas and everything, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow, okay, so you're not familiar, right? Uh -huh. no, because you're I not just, physically there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm just so assuming that. Mm -hmm. That probably a, a person having a bad day or opposite position, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So guys, what about the rest? Do, are you working from home too? Are you doing home office? No. No, okay. So I believe that uh, the rest mm -hmm. of us, you know, <laughs> we in need to job, go to work. Uh -huh. In the job where, um, uh, when we need administra administration, make a, um, how do you say? I <laughs> should be a lot. Um, informs reports, well, reports in mm -hmm. uh, yes, reports. Um, we can stay at home. Ah, wow! But, but it's um not very often. Um, yes, but each each one choice. If you stay at home or you go to the office. Oh, it's up to you. It's optional. Wow, yes. nice. But not every day, I guess. Only when you need to send reports. Uh -huh, not every day. You uh -huh. need um, how, um responder a los objetivos. Reply. Uh, reply. Ah, no, you need to comply. Okay. In that case, that would be comply. You need to comply to your objectives. Okay, okay. Wow, but you're super blessed because you have the option. Ah, I don't wanna go to work, so I stay home. Okay, okay. That sounds all right. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, teacher. How you doing? A little bit tired, teacher. <laughs> I definitely believe so. But it's Friday, you know, so hopefully the last day of the week for most. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> You gotta work me. tomorrow. Yeah, I have to work tomorrow. Oh, so bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, but a full day or just uh, yeah, on Sunday. Sunday is my is my day, day off. off. Only yeah. one day off. No, I have two. Uh, uh, Sunday and Monday. Wednesday, Wednesday and Mon and Sunday. Oh, so they are not like in no. a row, but they have been split. Okay, okay. Yeah. But it's okay, I guess, because you feel that week is a little shorter. Yes. So, okay, okay, nice. Uh, yes, what what can you share with us? <laughs> uh, well, in my account, we have to be on site, only be on site. But 
there is another accounts like Roblox, like Google Play, like MasterCard, and that that accounts they have the option to to work from home. So that is nice because they only have the the training on on site, and after that they they work from home. So mm. it is very cool because the traffic in the morning is very. In the morning and at, and at night. Yes. So if they don't provide both. like transportation, so both. Uh -huh. Yes. That's quite complicated. All right. But that is really nice. I mean, hopefully in the future, you can have a work from home position and yeah, you don't have to um, struggle with traffic. I hope night. so. <laughs> yeah. And that's really cool. I mean, I used to work from home for about two years. That was super cool. I really miss that. Oh, I'm, I'm working from home still. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Guys, Um, let's just jump at, up to the next exercise. Let's go down a little bit. And here we have just some more expressions. These are in your material too. And these are part of your uh, exercises from the platform. So if you take a look uh, down here, it says match the name of the conflict management style next to the corresponding description. And then we're gonna share um, but we're gonna do it together. So some of the most common uh, conflicts that we have right here are avoidance, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, and compete. So let's take a look at the description super quick and you give me the, uh, the answer. Uh, Maria Elena, can you please help us read number one, just the description. Oh, I'm sorry, um, finish up your food, no worries. And you help us with the next. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, Tatiana, help us with number one, please. Teacher, I can read. <laughs> it's oh. blurry. <laughs> oh, wait, give me one second. I'm Let sorry, me... I... No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger, but I think I'm having an issue there. I have the my manual but i can find uh, let me see if i can make it a little bigger the thing is that it's from the mm, is it a little clearer or is it <laughs> yes. still kind of blurred <laughs> no it's it's, it's okay mm, the thing is that the um give me one sec okay there we go uh, is this rigor Disregard. Mm -hmm. Disregard for the needs of the other person to solve a conflict. Okay. So, guys, if you disregard, so that is like, you don't care, right? Oh, like, oh, boss, I need this. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so, that is disregard. Disregard for the needs of others. What do you think this is? Is that avoid? Is that accommodate? Is that compromise? Or is that collaborate? What comes to your mind, guys? What do you think would be the conflict right here? Uh, let me read the others. Um, let's see, cause this kind of weird doesn't let me make I it. think it's avoid teacher. Okay, so we can use avoid for that. Wait, wait. Yes, I cannot make it bigger. Mm, no. I just make bigger a little portion of it. Okay. Okay, so let me read the rest and then you help me with all the definitions. Number two says agreeing to settle, uh, to settle a conflict by mutual concession, right? So it's like, oh, I'm angry, you're angry. Okay, let's settle down. So agreeing to settle a conflict. So let's finish this conflict. Uh, next one says both parties work together to find a mutual satisfying solution. So what do you think number three would be? Number four says meeting the needs or demands of the other person by satisfying our own. Meeting the needs and demands of other people to uh, not satisfying your own. What do you think it could be? Um, next one says the employee don't talk to each other or don't discuss the conflict. That I think this is very common in our companies, right? So some people don't wanna to talk to us. Okay, so what is the what is going on here? What would be the conflict management style? What do you think? Do you have any from one to number five? 
the number one teacher. Okay. I think is avoid. Okay, so avoid. Okay, later guys, we can compare. And if you have a different answer, let us know as well. Okay, avoid, what about the others? May I guess the second one? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I uh, I have a collaborate. Okay, number two, collaborate. Okay. I guess collaborate is on the third. Mm, okay, what is collaborate? If you say, hey, collaborate with me, what would be collaborate? For example, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mutual work. Mutual, there you go, there you go. When so, two people uh -huh. is according uh -huh. to work and a specific uh, uh, target. Okay, very nice. So two people working together much, uh, mutually, right? So there is a word, number two says agreeing to settle a conflict, but this one collaborate. Yes. Okay. But there is another that goes better with collaborate. If you take a look at number three, it says both parties work together. Super similar to what you mentioned. To find a mutual uh, satisfying solution. So that mm -hmm. sounds collaborate. More like collaborate. Mm -hmm. So help each other, right? Or working together. Okay. What about the rest? Uh, teacher Number two is compromise. No. Number two is compromise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Compromise. So compromise, all right. Sorry, Tatiana, speak in. Don't worry, don't worry. Tell us, tell us, Tati. And the others, guys, number four and number five. Accommodate. Hey, teacher, I, I Number don't know. four is? I think I heard it. I heard somebody. I think the the needs or the demands of the other person not satisfied compete. I think that is no, I think accommodate. 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 Yes. I believe Sylvia, yes, that was Sylvia's voice, right? Mm -hmm. So accommodate. Okay. Accommodate. Yeah, right. Because it's like, mm, so I'm going to, I don't share this but I'm going to respect that. So I'm gonna follow. So yes, accommodate. And obviously number five, this would be? Compete. Mm -hmm. There we go, compete. So we always have it in the company. Okay, and those are the most common kind of conflicts that we have. Guys, I just want to call your attention upon a word that is this one, disregard. Sure. Yes, you, tell me, Mr. I have, a, I have a deal in the number five, the employees don't, don't talk to each other mm -hmm. don't, or don't discuss the conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that it starts with like in a sort of competence, right? Mm -hmm. Competence, okay. Maybe yes. that sounds like a boy. No. Like avoid each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, give me one second. It sounds actually to me, but according to the manual, the answers go like this. So, but yes, you're totally right. So maybe we can share the answers um, the other way around. So this can be kind of a competition too, and then we can have avoidance. You're right, you're right. That can be possible too. However, this sounds like the answers we have from the manual. Um, guys, I just want to call your attention upon something that is this word, disregard. Probably you will be using this one. Um, when you send an email, for example, and by mistake, and then you need to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the previous email, that was a mistake. You can simply say the word, oh, please, disregard. 
the previous email. Uh, or when you ask for something, can you send a report, please? And then you notice, ah, oh, no, I have the report here. You can tell the person, oh, please disregard uh, my previous request. So disregard is like, forget about it, right? Uh, that is not important anymore. So this word is super important and you will see this a lot in some scenarios. Um, so I just wanted to, to share that word. Okay, guys, so we're talking a little bit about conflict. Hi, Claudia, good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining. Norma, I'm you, super sir. glad you're home. I'm really, really glad you're there. Uh, Miss Serong, hello, good evening. And yeah, it's sure. like that, everybody. Yes. Teacher, according the the manual or the course of the, the student, uh, the number one, I have a compete, number one. Mm, there it has compete. Yes. Okay, give me one uh, second. I was checking and the number two is mm -hmm. compromise. Mm -hmm. Number three is collaborate. Mm -hmm. The number four is accommodate. Okay, and number five? Uh, five, avoid. Have it as a boy. Yes, Mario, okay. Mario oh. right. Oh, that is according to the platform, right? Yes, yes. Mm, mm, okay, you're right about it. Yes, probably my manual has some, uh, has a little glitch. Okay. Um, so give me one sec. Let me just go back. Yeah, because I have a different answer here. Okay. okay. So number one, you mentioned disregard for yes. the needs of other yes. people. That would be kind of a competition, compete. Yes, it's compete. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So agreeing to settle a conflict by mutual consensus. Uh, what do you have it as? Is the number number two is compromise. Oh, okay. So just number one and number five would be the other way around, right? So number five, number one would be compete and number five would be avoid, like you don't talk to people. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. Probably my manual has a little glitch here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. All right, guys, um, so we're talking a little bit about conflict here, but there is something I want you to, um, to practice on, and that is giving some um, solutions to a, couple of to a couple of situations here. Give me one moment, give me one sec. Let me just share this. So um, we are going to just move a little bit away from work and we are going to talk about some general scenarios. I have some situations here, guys, and uh, I have a little video too. So we're talking about conflict in a lot of general scenarios. Um, I have a video for you, and uh, I'm going to share this in the chat. Uh, but you, will, you won't have audio. It is just a description. I'm going to give you like two minutes, guys. This is like a sort of dilemma, or this is like a sort of conflict, and you have to find a way to resolve it. So I'll give you two minutes to watch um, this video, to read the description, check what is going on, and then you tell us some possibilities. What would you do in this case, right? That is a problem solving situation. So guys, you have two minutes, watch the video, please. And then you tell us uh, how would you solve this problem?
Guys, do you have a couple of solutions already? Do you have some possibilities there? Or do you need more time? Maybe I choose the option C. Uh, why? Me too, teacher. Oh, but, 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 you can, but you can choose, you can make another decision. <laughs> so how would you solve the problem? Why? You are important, guys. Don't let, um, don't leave yourself behind. No, so, no, no. The letter C? C, the letter C is you are in the boat with the, the, um, the hair surgery. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I remember that was letter D, hold on. No, the letter D is you behind. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so, oh yes, you're right. So take the heart surgeon and she will be able to save more lives. Okay, okay. So guys, why A, why or why not A? So, uh, for example, the first one, the first answer that we have says, take both and risk everyone being killed. Uh, why not letter A? Yes, Tatiana? I will say that because I think it's very hard if you have to uh, leave somebody. So mm -hmm. I can't. I think I take the risk. Okay, so you would take everybody into the boat, even though you know that probably everybody will die. Otto. Otto. <laughs> <laughs> like in Spanish, so todos en el suelo, todos en la cama. Yes. Okay, okay, guys, uh -huh. why A, why B, why C, why, I don't know if you have another possibility, so tell us. <laughs> so what is your choice? Uh, why C, why the heart surgeon? Imagine that the heart surgeon will save lives, but uh, imagine he is a bad person, or I don't know. So why? Teacher, um, for me, say the pop, um, it's not an option. It is not an option. <laughs> no, definitely. Why not? Why not? Because. I think it's not a big deal. No, no, it's the, just a person, but it's gonna say more like with a surgeon. With oh, okay. With a pope, for so, me. Because of your beliefs, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. So, but he's a person. You cannot leave yes. him behind. He's a person, but we need the surgeon. The more. risk. Okay. Teacher, so, teacher yeah, yeah. I the same. I, I think the same. Be, Letter A uh, is to take two uh, two person mm -hmm. or both, but but mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a risk. <laughs> uh, the the, the pop uh, killed <laughs> killed to the the her uh, surgeon. No, it is a risk because the boat is only for two people. Oh, if you okay. put three people in the boat, um, everybody will be at risk to die. I mean, uh, the, the boat can sink okay, or okay. the boat can break. Ah, yes. Not because they will kill each other. No, okay, no, no. Okay, but okay. because oh. the boat can break. Uh -huh. Okay. Or it it's can a risk. Sink. It is, there is a risk. Uh -huh. yes. But so. uh, if, 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 I, if I, I take the pop, <laughs> mm -hmm. The his, uh, video said he he had with a divine intervention. <laughs> okay, but, but it is unreal, unreal. Mm, it is uh, up to real. your beliefs. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, so yeah, yeah. It is but up the, to the, your the beliefs. real the real life. I uh -huh. I think it uh, uh, to save the uh, hurts the surgeon. <laughs> Yes. <gasps> Guys, okay. Christy, I think Christy had something else there. Okay, so Manuel would save the surgeon. Claudia, Claudia would save the surgeon. Guys in the boat. I mean, he's a person too. Christy? Uh, no, my opinion is the same as, as Claudia. I think the same because I prefer to save the, the heart surgeon. 
because for me is um uh, for me is a better choice is the best choice okay here we have a conflict guys opposing opinions <laughs> okay okay interesting interesting guys and the rest you know um if i had the chance I would do, I would have, or I would create another option. So everybody survives. Or I will go with letter A, like whatever, let's do it and let's Teacher. go. Uh -huh. Teacher, like, the, like this uh, situation is uh, is in the real life. Uh, mm -hmm. You talk with, with uh, a, a save, save guard. Save guard. Save guard. A lifeguard. Life vest, or I don't know. Ah, yes. Okay, so you yes. can get like a like a sort yes, of vest. I, I have a, a ring. Friend. Uh -huh. I have a friend. A, a friend. Yeah. I asked him uh, about this situation. Is okay. It because uh, uh, he told me uh, I I would like to save to. Mm -hmm. People, but uh, the uh, the 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 difficult is is mm -hmm. be uh, to save just one. So your friend was in this situation. Yes, because he is a a, a, a lifeguard. Lifeguard, yes. <gasps> so what would your friend do? Yes. Uh, uh, he told me just one people. Uh, just one. You cannot say yes. both. Both no, because wow. uh, the it's very complicated. Because mm -hmm. if if he are, he he take the risk, mm -hmm. uh, he he can can uh, die. With that is that is the point exactly. Like letter yes. A, right? Yes. So uh, the pope the um, surgeon and you so you take yes. the risk but yes. the three sometimes, of you teacher, can die so, uh -huh. sometimes it's very difficult to say one people mm, okay it depends it depend okay. the, the the situation in the world mm -hmm. okay okay and yes wow but, super complicated sylvia yes. has uh, something yes sylvia tell us tell us what would you do uh i think that um it's difficult because the sur the her surgeon, surgeon mm -hmm. uh, is a good option but i yes. don't know that he or she saving people mm -hmm. when i say uh, in the pop i i don't know your your hair but i mm -hmm. i i know that I need save myself. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it doesn't matter who, but you need to save yourself. Okay, interesting. I think. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> guys. Yes, Wendy. Okay, okay. I like that. Yeah. Wendy. In my opinion, and then we listen to the, Maria Elena. The both yes. both receive two persons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. By by one. By one by one, one by one, uh huh, uh huh, yes. uh huh, to re request a person uh -huh. uh, that would uh come up, no, regresar, return, regresar por la return for other other person. Yeah, okay, okay. So we have another answer right there, okay. So you don't need to risk. You can go, leave one person, and return. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. nice. Oh, you found a solution. Yes, Maria Elena. Yes, I am uh, thinking a similar. Uh -huh. um, okay. In my job, um, we thinking if the top person is something you love, how do oh. you choose? Like your mother it's and so your easy, baby so or something. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But it's uh -huh. two people that you love. Mm -hmm. Okay. This. No. Um, for this. 
and uh, maybe three person um, discuss for mm -hmm. the abilities and one person is ability navigation can mm -hmm. go and return and return to to rescue the other person <laughs> oh that's really if nice you, if you couldn't <laughs> to return mm, well that would be the destiny <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah, but why not? Why not? But like imagine the, we like don't the, have enough gas. Like the movie, that's Final thing. Destination. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine you don't have. Ah, oh, Chris is making everything more, uh, more difficult here. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's uh, probably. It's a possibility. We don't have too. enough gas. That's all in. You, know, yeah. you can survive. You can? You can survive. You can fishing. I don't know. Ah, yes, yes, fishing. Mm -hmm. You because know, a desert is more difficult a desert, but an island you can survive. But the point island. is like to move one person out. I was thinking about this movie Titanic, you know, um, and in which um, Rose and Jack, so they were like um, a, being abandoned or I don't know, they were under the water. And Rose was all the time over the door. I think it was a door. So yes. I always thought, why wouldn't they alternate? Like two minutes up, two minutes down. So I think that something like this could work, you know? If they can swim, like one person can swim, they can hold from the boat and they can continue moving or I don't know. The idea is to look for a solution, but guys, okay. So nice, really nice tries. And as Maria Elena said, it is difficult when we're talking about people you love. All right. So I have a couple of, uh, obviously, we are creating here like um, opposing ideas. We are creating conflict, but that is the objective of the activity to think and to provide some solutions. Um, take a look at the, for, uh, the next uh, scenarios I have right here for you. Uh, for example, number one says, now in El Salvador, the laws are super strict when you hit a cat or a dog or an animal. So what would you do if you run over? Do you know the meaning of run over? Mm. In the last year, no, but yes, I am. Um, <laughs> so ra run over is like atropellar, right? So what would you do if you run over a cat Imagine you're driving and a cat, it says meow, and it strikes your yes. car in a residential area of town or in a place. What would you do? Would you run away? Would you wait? Would you call somebody? What would you do, guys? Especially because now you can even go to prison because of that. Um, what would you do if you found $2,000 on an empty bus late at night? Imagine like Norma, so she was home and suddenly, oops, $200. Would you take them? Would you leave them? Would you tell the driver? What would you do? Uh, what would you do if someone bought you a CD for your birthday and you hated the group? <laughs> so nobody buys CDs now, but people buy, I don't know, a pair of shoes, a blouse, a shirt, so what would you do? And so we have a couple of scenarios here. Guys, let's discuss them. Let's try to share your ideas. What would you do in these scenarios, right? And give me just a moment here. We are going to make some groups so you can talk, go and express thoughts. So I got this. Um, so, Marilena, Mr. Valle, are you home? Are you back with us? Get Susana. Haven't heard Susana today. Uh, okay, so guys, I'm going to invite you to join the groups. Um, yes, Miss, I'm here. So, oh, nice, nice. Did your boss, uh, I don't know, get mad at you or something? My boss? Mm -hmm. Because because of the things you said? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that sounds all right. Uh, so, um, Mr. Palma, do me a big favor. Stay here, please. Stay in the station. Ariela, stay in the station too. 
And yeah. uh, give me one okay. second. Mr. Baye, stay here, please. So, and guys, the rest, let's go to the groups. Let's talk for one minute, please. So, no, it's not a minute. So we have like five, 10 minutes. Um, so Mr. Palme, stay here. Ariel, stay here. And uh, Christia, stay here, please. Stay in the session. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Sylvie's gone, so. Okay, give me a moment. So let me just make sure everybody's here. Okay. Okay, guys, so you can start discussing them. I'm going to monitor the rest of the groups. Let me see if I can share the questions in the other rooms. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, so we have 10 minutes. Share your ideas, please. Tell us what you think about them or how you would solve these situations. So 10 minutes. Um. Hello. Hi there. Yeah. Uh, what will I do if I ran over a cat in a residential area of town? Um. um you go first. Uh, now is a uh, kind of difficult because before, uh, I guess, uh, normally when, uh, when when we are in the residential area, uh, probably we normally go uh, slow, driving slow. Uh, but in, if this is the case that we we are driving. Uh, a little bit fast, and this happened in a residential area. Uh, probably, normally, I have to, or I uh, go down to the vehicle and try to maybe help the the, the cat. Uh, the thing that uh, sometimes when the uh, the problem with the cat, especially that uh, they have a kind of uh some special uh i don't know how to say but it's not like the dog but e even if if the if the cat has hit it uh, they are able to to run and mm -hmm. put them safe mm -hmm. okay so sometimes for for the cats it's, it's, it's a kind of difficult to to get them and and help only if they are are seriously seriously uh, injured. That's but fine. I guess if you in in the in the presidential maybe uh, it go down. But if you're in the town that where is a uh, it's not a it's not a residential area, and suddenly appeared the the cat and I hit the cat. Uh, Probably I, I, I go. Uh, I mean, probably I go. I well, I continues my, my way. Yeah. Well, I I will do the same because you don't know what it's probably going to happen on the road. Maybe if it's a rural zone you take the risk someone um, rubber you or I don't know. So if it's in a resident, residential area, I could help the cat if it's alive. <laughs> but 
in a town, I don't know if I have a car behind me, I, I will stop, but um, like carefully, you don't know, you never know what it could be. Someone, someone else want to say something? No? Uh, okay, Mario. No. I'm gonna, hello? No, 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 I, I don't want, maybe we can, we can discuss the second question. Okay, what will you do if you found 2,000 on an empty bus late at night? I I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yes, I will take it because the bus is empty and it's late. <laughs> yes, I will take it. Yeah, probably if, if in, in my case, probably if I, uh, if there is a way that I can find the the person the, or the people that that was set there and I know them, uh, probably uh, I I will give them. But in this case that the, uh, I mean, probably is the, is the, the public uh, transportation, is the public bus, probably yes. I don't know uh, the people around me, so the, the bus is empty, uh, I'm the only one, so I will take it also. Only if I have if I've had the the possibility <laughs> to find out the the owner, I will I, I will I will give that to the owner. But if there is no way to find out who is the owner, I will keep it. Me too. Yeah, I think the same. Yeah, because anybody could say to me like, "Yeah, it's mine," but mm, I don't know. Yes. Everyone case can say that. I will say, yeah. give me the serial number, and I will give you. <laughs> <laughs> what about is that if this money <laughs> doesn't have any identification? So I think it's there to take it like a bless. Yeah, or yeah. maybe, or maybe I I ask, uh, uh, tell me what uh, is, what quantity is inside. Of the bag. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if another people want to to search. Okay. The next one is, what will you do if someone bought you a CV for your birthday and you hated the group? Hello, if someone back to us. Mm, I just take it and and say thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it depends that uh, uh, who's the person that is giving to you the the CD. I mean, if uh, in my case is if this person is uh, my friend or or some people uh, really near to me, uh, for sure, I, I I will say something that why you did you buy this for me? So mm. I don't like it, but even I will take it. But with, if, if there is a if if the person that is giving to you the the CD. Is uh, uh, I mean, uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it could be from... a joke. Uh, also, yeah, or, or yeah, also maybe maybe the person knows the that you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably that way. If 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 it's my friend or if if it's a person near to me. Uh, for sure, I I will say something like that. That 
that why buy it for me. Yes, I think it's the pen of the person. Yes, I'm seeing the same. Yes, because if, if it's someone near to you, you can ask for the ticket so you can change it. Yes. I think it's a possibility. Okay, the next one. Mm, you see, what would you do if someone in a shop gave you a 50 dollars? Not instead. Not instead of five. What would you do if someone in a shop gave you a fifty dollars? Uh, not for in sure. I, I I I will uh I will tell the person that is uh, giving me a. Uh, uh, the ground quantity uh, and because I, I I'll do it before uh, some someday I uh, some people was giving me uh, actually was uh, a different for a few uh, dollars uh, it wasn't a 45 dollar but it was uh, kind of uh, I guess the I don't remember the person uh, thought that I pay for uh, a training and I really pay for uh, with a five, and the person was giving me uh, the 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 money for for twenty. So I uh, I took took it, and then I told the person, "Oh, you are giving me the grand money," and because I I, I am I have uh, work in in some place like that, and. When you are in charge, uh, to, to that that money, it, and if you yeah, lose it, if you lose it, you regret it. So, I I I put in 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 their shoes, and I try to 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 give them again. Yeah. What? I I will do the same. Yeah, I will do. Is a is an empathic way to to be honest. Yeah, because I, actually I, I think that if you notice that uh, there is a uh, wrong money, uh, and if you don't do the correct thing that you have to do, I guess uh, the worst is for you. Yes, you will have a karma. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, it for sure would be worse. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the next okay. one. The next one, I don't know if someone wants to read or may I keep reading? Um, um I don't know. Okay, I, I will I will read. Uh, what would you do if the teacher came into class with toothpaste on his or her nose? <laughs> I will tell her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell her. Or I will ask her, uh, Miss, you don't feel ice in your, in your nose? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess the same. Uh, I will tell the person that has something in the nose. Yeah. Okay, the next one is what will you do if you went to use your house bathroom during a dinner party and found their 10 year old son smoking inside? <laughs> that sounds really like a, an American thing will happen. Well, nowadays, I think nothing can um, make me be in shock. <laughs> it's hard kind of hard to 
uh, give an answer because uh, it's probably that some person thinks that you are inventing or you are uh, like a liar because yeah. you are talking or or probably it can be worse and and and, and will think that you are the one that that gave uh, the thing to the kid mm -hmm. yes he's so serious yeah But probably uh, in case that the, uh, I have some kind of uh, appre appreciate for the person, uh, maybe I will tell the kid that uh, there is, uh, there is uh, it's not good the thing that he's doing and try to yeah. explain that. Uh, in sometimes he will he will have the the current age to to find out <laughs> and to do it and it's going to be better that he 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 left to do that that's probably that but also it depends depends the person yeah i think i will do the same Manuel, Maria Elena, I don't know if you want to share with us your opinions. Okay, and, and the last one uh, is an interesting uh, question. What would you do if you found one child, child smoking. Obviously, uh, here say in, in bathroom, but it's not necessary uh, the bathroom. But uh, it's a uh, for me. It, it's a uh, firstly uh, a surprise, but. Uh, the question is what I will do, okay? Mm -hmm. the, the, best, uh, the best way for me is uh, tell her mother or her father uh, about this issue with, with her her son or her, her daughters. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's, the, it's the only that I, I, I will, I will do. Okay. And, and I don't know. Uh, the number three. Uh, what would you do if someone bought you a CD for your birthday and you hated the group? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's okay. Uh, I, for respect, I. I take it. I would. I would take it. And even if if I hate this this group, but for because it's a it's a it's a present for me. Uh, of for sure, I I, I take it. Uh, is uh, it, it depends for me to to listen mm -hmm. <laughs> or yes. listening? 
You you listen the city first. No, no, it's, it's, it's a group. If it is a group, I, I hate, obviously, yes. I, I, I don't, I, I would. You don't listen. I wouldn't listen, okay. yes. <laughs> for respect for the people that, yeah. that bring me, yes, yes. Uh, for sure, I, I, I take, I will take it. Okay. If my teacher came into class or, or give the class uh, with toothpaste on here, nose, uh, I like, uh, I don't know, uh, Claudita said, uh, told him, told, <laughs> told, told her, told her, thank you. Yes, I will tell her. Yes. But is, if, if, where, uh, in a, in a present class, uh, I don't know, uh, someone may be a job or, or a laugh for the, for the event, but uh, nor, nor everybody. It is uh, uh, able to 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 say, "Hey, teacher, uh, you you have in your face and your mouth and your nose uh, toothpaste." <laughs> yeah, it's it's like when, uh, for example. Uh, when someone uh, have uh, has a, a sit sit down. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> it's a hey you you watch me <laughs> when you say hey sit sit up your <laughs> your pants. <laughs> yeah. But Hi it, guys. It, it's very common. Yeah, it's so so I guess I guess you're discussing the one related to the teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, okay. if the teacher That's were enough. were uh, Julie, I didn't I didn't talk. <laughs> uh, but but guys, this is super common, you know, and these are kind of um After I don't laughing, know. Probably I would tell. <laughs> oh, so first you laugh and then you will tell me. Okay, um, but have you been in this situation, guys? Like with your boss, for example, when the zipper is down yes. or there is something like in the tie, in the shirt, or the person was eating, you know, and there is a stain of a mayo or mustard in the, in the shirt, would you tell your boss, hey, boss, your zipper is down? Yeah, I think the pen. It depends if you have um, a confidence with them. I don't okay. know. The, the, the real is uh, the real situation is uh, when when someone is, uh, for example, in front or is a host in, in a meeting. Obviously, uh, you, mm -hmm. watch, you watch the. Uh, uh, to help, uh, I don't know, help to, uh, ¿cómo se dice de pie a cabeza, teacher? Uh, from up and down, so okay. from uh -huh, obviously, bottom up. Obviously, mm -hmm. obviously, it's the, it's the, it's, uh, you, you are, you are watching these people every, Probably every in, time. In, or say, in my, in my case, uh, yeah. I think that if the person, uh, if you don't know the the, the person, uh, mm -hmm. but for me, if it's a 
uh, a guy, probably I will mm -hmm. I will tell the guy, hey, this this happened to you or something like that. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. with with the zipper. But mm -hmm. if, if it's, it's a, a girl, girl uh, for me it's kind of uh, kind of embarrassing. Difficult. No, but difficult to say because sometimes uh, the 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 girl uh, will think that. Uh, you are uh, I paying attention what, to that part, to that yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and in my case, uh, probably I, I try to to say to another person, maybe uh, so uh, a friend, uh -huh, to to tell the the girl. Oh, girls, do you feel kind of upset? Um, taking back what Mr. Bai said, do you feel kind of upset if a boy tells you, hey, your zipper is down, your blouse is open, would you feel upset? Maybe embarrassed. I think I would feel embarrassed. embarrassed. Yeah, because but not like it, it is necessary, not... teacher. It is necessary. Exactly, I... but I would feel it's thankful. Uh -huh. I would maybe, feel like, thank maybe you. Maybe I, yeah. I, I feel embarrassed, but it is necessary for the, the person uh, that have the, the issue. <laughs> mm, yeah, but maybe I think the, per the, the, per the person, but, but, uh, but I'm telling this because uh, it, it happened to me before. Mm. That, that's why I, I, I think twice in. So you avoid uh, it. Yeah, I try to sometimes has a girl been mad at you uh kind of yeah oh you need to tell us the whole story <laughs> but another day because time is over unfortunately <laughs> another time okay. wow no but you gotta tell us about that i mean because i i think that as a woman you feel embarrassed oh my god i'm showing my a part of my body but you feel thankful, you know, oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me. But it's really interesting, um, especially now with harassment and um, what is the other one? Uh, LGTV plus mm -hmm. community. Uh -huh. So yeah, it could be kind of sensitive too. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to continue with this on Monday because it's really interesting and I want to know the whole gossip. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. but before that, um, guys, just give us confirmation of your attendance. Give me one second. Um, okay, I got Anna. Uh, Ariela, just give me confirmation, please. Hello. Thank you. Claudia. Present teacher. There. Thank you so much. Christian. Present. I didn't see Diana. All right. Jorge, yeah, Jorge was a listener. Juan Carlos was here at the beginning. Uh, Manuel, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Palmer is here. <clears throat> Mr. Ron disappeared. Ma Mary, are you still here? I haven't heard well, her. Good, uh, troubles. Hi, mm -hmm. Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're back. No worries. I'm super glad you're back. Mr. Villeda. Mr. Villeda is third. Uh, Mr. Mr. Valle. No, Mr. Villeda is not here. Mr. Valle, Nelson, here, here. Norma, Olga, Olga was here some minutes ago, Silvia, mm, Susana, yes, okay. Present. So heard it. Tatiana, Present. and Wendy. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Present. Yes, Wendy. Uh, the midterm finished today. Mm, it's supposed to be for next week, you know, but the recommendation always is se puede terminarlo antes y la plataforma la puede terminar antes, much better. Así ya no se queda en, a veces los compañeros nos escriben, right? Aunque ya hayamos terminado. Entonces, para evitarlo es como, si pueden avanzar, guys, termínela. Creo que Mr. Palma por ahí ya terminó toda la unidad, todo el, el manual, toda la plataforma. Seguros. Very nice. Yes, guys, termínelo y ya se quedan más tranquilos. But it's for next week. Ah, uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Pero si lo oh, puede yeah. avanzar, avance lo mismo. No problem. All right. Hi, Jorge. Okay. Me imagino que Jorge va a todavía. All right. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you on Monday, guys. Oh, Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. No worries, Ariel. <laughs> okay.